All right, let's get right into it. First, I am using the number five brush and blending my color corrector. And as you can see, a little product goes a long way with these brushes. These are not like your regular brushes that will pick up the product and um, just distribute what's remaining. These products leave a these brushes leave a lot of product on your face. So it took me quite a while to blend out all that color corrector. Um, this is the same amount of color corrector I would use when using my regular brushes, and um, that did not work well for me. So take it from me less is more with these brushes which is good your product will go a long way when using these brushes however I noticed as the product starts to dry um, the more you blend the patchier it will get brushes start to just move the product across your face to different areas rather than providing a nice smooth blend and you would see that more a little later in the video when I'm actually blending out my foundation. And I kept this video in um, regular time. I didn't speed it up at all um, so you guys can actually see how these brushes perform. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, these brushes are on Amazon. It's a five piece set and it is on Amazon for around $16. So I'm continuing to use that number five brush to blend out my color corrector and I'm taking the number three brush to just provide a little bit more blending in those larger areas. Um, to get that color corrector spread out evenly on my face. And right there I'm just showing you that these brushes do appear to be a bit weak in the neck area of the brush, so just be careful when using them. So now that is the largest brush of the set and that is the number one brush and I'm using that to blend out my foundation. So I did use um, a lot less product than I would normally use so that I could actually blend up, I mean build up as I needed more coverage, which is what I am doing. And one thing I noticed, I already said this, but the um, product tended to get a bit splotchy. And you can really see that on my cheek area. And I noticed also that in those areas where I color corrected when I was applying the foundation it appeared that the color corrector was actually being pulled up or moved when I was blending out my foundation which was not good so to get a bit more coverage in those areas I went in with my LA girl concealer in the color chestnut and blended that out with that same brush and you can see me doing that there And for concealer, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Fawn as well as Toast to give a moderate highlight under eye and on the bridge of my nose and on my forehead area. And to blend this out, I am using that number five brush. And the number five is the middle brush in this set. And this company does make more than these five brushes, but this is the set that they um, put together, or one of the sets that they put together in these oval brushes. So for my nose contour, I'm going around the edge of my highlight with um, that number one brush to blend out the edges of that. And getting back with the five brush, using that to blend out my under eye concealer as well as um, the concealer and my cupid's bow and things like that. I find that that brush does do a good job of blending and spreading that product around. It seems like the larger brushes are the ones that really move the product around more than the number five brush in a way that's not good. <laughs> so. I'm using that number one brush to blend out any harsh lines from between the 
highlighted area and the rest of my foundation. And to set my under eye, I'm using the number three brush and my Laura Mercier translucent powder and all those areas that I highlighted. Just taking a little bit on that brush and dabbing that under my eye and then the highlighted areas. To set the rest of my face, I'm using the number one brush and the setting powder from, or pressed powder from Black Radiance, the soft focus, soft focus powder for my cheek contour I am using the number seven brush actually I think that now actually that is the number five brush I'm using the number five brush to contour my cheeks and blending that out with the number three brush and once again for your powders a little goes a long way that contour was very harsh because um, I used a bit too much product so I'm going in with a Morphe brush to blend that out I'm doing a bit more contouring around my hairline with my number five brush and that is the number seven brush that I'm using right there to do a bit of nose contouring and that is a really skinny brush good for nose contouring and my blush today is from the Jacqueline Hill and Becca collaboration and that's Amaretto and Pamplemousse mixed together. And for my highlight, I am using um, the Prosecco Pop and um, Rose Spritz highlighter in that Champagne Face Palette. To provide a bit more warmth, I am going in with my Ebony Bronze Powder around the perimeter of my face to provide a bit more warmth and I'm using the number three brush to do that. Hey guys, so the face has been finished and I just wanna give you my quick thoughts on these brushes. They are pretty cool. As you saw in the video, you cannot use a lot of product with these brushes because that color correcting was just awful. Like I put too much color corrector on. And so it's you just wanna use a little bit of product with these and build up as you need to. Um, this really, they blend out your foundation pretty quickly, um, but I did notice that it seemed a bit splotchy in some areas, so I did have to keep going over and over a couple times. And you saw me resort to some of my normal brushes just to fix the splotchiness especially with my contour so um, my major takeaway with these brushes is don't grab a lot of product in your first dip in, <laughs> into your product um, build up a little goes a long way with these brushes which is a plus um, as far as the quality um, they seem to be quality I mean just got to be careful with them I don't know how these compare to the artiste brushes because I don't have them but for the price, you do get some good brushes. And um, I hope it doesn't come off splotchy on camera because the final result when I look in my mirror looks really nice and put together. So I definitely would recommend these for you to give them a try if you're interested. And I'll have a link for these brushes below as I continue using these throughout my makeup regimen. I will definitely give you guys more thoughts and things because this is my first time using brushes like these. So I think there is a bit of a learning curve on how to apply them, how to apply your products well and um, 
effectively I guess with these brushes so yeah those are my initial thoughts on these brushes this is my first time trying them and I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful for you guys and I hope I gave you an idea on how these brushes perform and if you're interested in the brushes check out the link below um, if you want to connect with me outside of YouTube please Find me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and on my blog. And all that information will be in the description bar below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Oh, and if you want to see this eyeshadow look and these lips, please check out the other video that I have on those items. All right, I will talk to you all later. Thank you so much for your support. I'll be talking to you later. I already said that. Bye.